Hi everyone, thank you for coming. What on earth is that? Let's start that again. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, welcome back to Andrea's Attic. I'm Andrea. If you've not been here before, thank you for joining me on this uh, first occasion. I'm just getting my camera ready and what we are doing today is we are doing another one of the Marilyn scrapbooks. That's better. So this scrapbook is volume 16. Um, yeah, there's over 20 so we're getting towards the end slowly um, and then of course I'll show you when I how I do it when I do a new one. If you can hear noise outside, they are doing roadworks in the street outside. Um, they're doing something to the water mains. So you may hear a little bit of noise. So like I said, this is book 16, so if you haven't seen any of the others, there is a playlist for Marilyn Monroe, just go and check them out, uh, 1 to 15 is up. So this is number 16. So. Again, we have a lovely picture of Marilyn, I'm just going to cover up the boobage, um, which is by Bert Stern, and we'll just turn it over very quickly. So we're still in 2002, and this is still... Uh, the Diamond Collection advertisements. This was from Empire Magazine. Again from Empire Magazine, this is another uh, review of um, the Diamond Collection about what her, what, you know, about what they think about it, which is right. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely box set. They're right, it's missing some like it hot because at the time Something like that was made from a different studio. Most of the diamond collection was just Fox. Then we've got um, from Collectibles, October 2002, just a picture of Marilyn. And then we get some article on her. So this is about collecting Marilyn memorabilia. And what you can get, so personal items, stuff that she owned mostly. Um, then we've got some film posters from around the world. And, and then there's a filmography and some more film posters and more of the filmography there it's a nice big article here are some of her items so these are her personal items which are very very expensive I would love to be able to afford something that Marilyn owned but it's never going to happen and I would be very wary about what I bought and where it came from Our next one is Hello, October 1st, 2002. Marilyn Monroe's first husband, Jim Doherty, describes life with a legend. So, this was before Jim Doherty passed. So, there's pictures of him. And there's around, because Marilyn's man came out, was it around that time, I think? Or his second book, To Norma Jean with Love, Jimmy. I'm not sure. There we go. You can probably hear the uh, pneumatic drill now. There's a lovely big article on this, him with his third wife. Next is now the A-List magazine from October. And again, it says dumb blondes. They're the C-List wannabes who prove the original is still the best. So it's another one of various people dressed up as Marilyn. So we've got the original. Gina Lee Noland, Jay Goody. Samantha Robson, who was in the bill. Obviously, Anna Nicole. Lucy Benjamin, who was in EastEnders. Nell McAndrew, I'm not even sure who she is. Paula Jennings, she was in EastEnders. Oh, that's it. Uh, then we got uh, Mail on Sunday from October 2002, The Prince and the Showgirl. Not the first time we've had an article titled that. Um, and these are Frank Worth's photos. So they are gorgeous, mine. Taken around the time of How to Marry a Millionaire. This costume's from How to Marry a Millionaire, so. And that was on the set. So they're lovely photos, mind. I will admit they are gorgeous. I think he had a book come out, but it wasn't just about Marilyn, it was about his various things. And you could buy the prints as well. But they were like £150 and I didn't have £150. That's a nice one, I do like that one. So it's a lot of money, so and then the next one is Elle magazine and it's The Prince and the Showgirl and this is about Andre de Dienes again. Lots about him because this was around his time his book came out. Hello, November 2002, Neverpool published photos of Marilyn Monroe. 
not strictly true. Um, he did have a book come out in the 1980s called M One or More and they've been published in many books going back as far as Norman Mailer's if not before that. So. These, I've seen a lot of these before. I mean okay maybe your average man on the street may not have seen them originally but uh, I did. We got The Day I Became Marilyn. This is Una Pearl who was a Marilyn standing on a body double on The Prince and the Showgirl because she was around the same height and the same colour in and there she is and she speaks very highly of Marilyn and then we've got Renee I'd make a marvellous Marilyn and she wanted to play uh, Marilyn in a film made by Susan Bernard now sadly Susan Bernard has just died or recently died at the age of I think 71 um, and she um, managed, she was an actress in her own right but managed the, the photo photographs of her father who was known as uh, Bernard of Hollywood and took pictures of Marilyn. Renee never did get to play Marilyn, she did get to play Judy Garland in a biopic that's out this, this year. Viewfinder Marilyn Monroe, the insatiable demand for Monroe, Monroe related material is about to be fed by a major new exhibition Yeah, Life of a Legend, April 9th, September 8th. There we go. Uh, Life of a Legend. I believe I went to see that. I I didn't get to step end long there, but I did see it and I did get the book with that on the cover. Uh, some Like It Shot from the Daily Mirror. Just about some pictures of Marilyn. Uh, then there's one here about Monroe's jewellery being stolen from the exhibition, from this exhibition. And there's a few on that now. Um, Monroe jewellery stolen. The thing with some of this jewellery is we don't actually know it was hers. This um, ring is not the sort of thing she would have worn, I don't think. But there you go. Monroe jewel snatched from exhibition. It's possible that they were fakes. But who knows? I don't. I've got to be honest. It just doesn't look like the sort of thing she would wear. She wasn't big into jewellery. And she never wore rings. She said, she ha I hate rings because I hate my fingers. So she wouldn't wear rings. So this is all about the stolen uh, jewellery. Uh, what an insult to Marilyn. Daily Mail. What? Um, it's by Michael Winner. Late Michael Winner. As a list of movie greats ignores female stars. So... What Less than a quarter of those in the top 100 of women, and there's not a single woman in the top 10, not one. So. You know, but these, these things are voted by people who don't know anything. This is not a very nice article, but what do you expect from the Daily Fail? Bloated, pimply, filthy hair, dirty clothes, but nothing would ever stop Frank making love with Marilyn. So, Marilyn was a normal human being. She wasn't always going to look perfect. So why, why are we surprised that she had days when her hair was dirty and her clothes weren't particularly clean? Especially if she was having an off day when she was feeling down. Every woman gets bloated and pimply, especially at that time of the month, I'm not going to lie. So I just think it's really a nasty thing to lead on that they're focusing on that when there's so much more. Again, Renee Zwelliger wanting to be Marilyn. She never did play her. Then Vanity Fair, the big article, The Mentor and the Movie Star. This is about Strasbourg's, Lee Strasberg. Lots of pi lovely pictures, mind. Marilyn Brando, Marilyn Olivier. Uh, Strasbourg home, the actor's studio, Marilyn and Susan, and then it ends there. It's not the end of the article, but it was the end of the book. This article continues in volume 17. Um, this has been a really, really quick one. It's less than 10 minutes long because the articles in this book are really quite big. 
um, yeah, and there's not a lot of the little stuff we normally have, so we've had quite a lot of big, chunky magazine articles, so this is a very, very short episode. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope you've enjoyed this look through volume 16. Like I said, it is a very small... <laughs> very short page, excuse me, just turning that page over and over. It's just that this album just happened to have a lot of big uh, articles. But if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment below if you've been enjoying this series of the scrapbooks. And if you're not already a subscriber, I really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to knock the bell, because if you knock the bell every time I post a video, which isn't very often these days, sadly, you will be notified that a new one has become live. And... Um, yeah, tell your friends. If they're Marilyn fans, tell them. There's going to be a lot more Marilyn on this channel. A lot more Marilyn content. Because I just love making Mar videos about Marilyn. I love Marilyn. Um, so somebody wanted to see my postcard collection. That's massive. So that'll happen. Um, I've got plates. Somebody wanted to see those. There'll be book flip-throughs and reviews. The new Michelle Morgan is out soon, so I'll be reviewing that when it comes out. Um, I won't be showing my magazine collection because I am actually selling my magazine collection because it is in the attic. It's never going to be seen. And I, I'd rather have the money, I've got to be honest, so I can reinvest it into other items that I can use. So, for instance, more clippings, uh, more ornaments, and just general savings, really, because I'm getting older and I'm going to need a new car before long because my car's nearly 20 years old so I need to save for a new car but if you like I said if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one guys bye